and relax. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Built and Bought Campers and we're working on the transit again today and we're going to be fitting one of these. This is the Fiamma Turbo Vent. Um, so it's got the fan and it's got the manual controls for the fan. It's They're good. I've fitted a few now and they work really well and I keep saying and not a lot I can say about these. Fiamma have done a good job when they built these. They really have. So yeah. Um, this one has got the white top because obviously we're working on a white van. I know you've seen me fit vents before but what's another vent? This is a transit. They all fit in different because each van's got a different ribbed or flat or whatever type roof. I think I've nailed it with this one because um, we've got a flat piece of roof where this is going to fit right in the middle of. Fingers crossed anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly where the fan's going to go. Then we're going to get on the roof, drill, cut the hole. And I'll explain the whole process as I usually do. Uh, but if you do have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll answer any questions you've got about these vans or any vents or fitting anything like this. But one thing I will reiterate, and I do this every time, when you are drilling cutting holes in metal, make sure you get rid of all the filings, all the swarf, all the bits of metal from the roof of the van, because if you don't, you end up with loads of little orange rust spots all over your roof. Um, you don't want that. So the thing to do is give it a good blow off with an airline. If not, wipe it off with a microfiber because microfiber will definitely pick that up. Obviously, because you're drilling outside, inside the van, cover up your van inside, especially if you've already converted it and you're fitting it sort of a later date after converting the van, cover it up because you'll have metal filings everywhere. And I'll tell you something, when they get in your fingers, when they get in your arms, when they get in your toes, feet, anywhere, it hurts. I am living proof of it hurts. I will say good tools have not just fitting roof vents or doing what this, these things, these little clamps, they're cheap, they're good, and they're so useful. Even for holding bits of wood down onto a bench or anything. Get yourself some of these, they're amazing. There you go, even when I cut the hole in the roof, that will stop the piece of metal dropping and hitting the floor. It'll land inside the sheet. So, if you've got nowhere to do that, we'll clamp it up, just like all over your van inside. It'll still catch all the bits. Just for this van, it's easier because I can do that. Right, so we're up on the roof of the van. I've got the perfect spot for putting this vent in. Now let me show you. So it's going to go in this area here. As you notice, it's all flat. This is totally flat here, which is good. A bit dirty. So what we're going to do, it's wet as well. And it's a little bit dented. So we're going to give it a bit of a clean off. Get rid of the water. So we need to cut an aperture out of here, 39 by 39 centimetres. How we're going to get the measurements is, we take a measurement from side to side, 
it's 83 centimeters so I need to make a mark in the middle 41 and a half which is there there and there and if we do the other way from the edge there to the edge over here it's 59 centimeters which gives us a point of 29 and a half which is there so the point of where these two intersect which is there that is the center of this flat surface up here okay so what we need to do from this center point is measure out 19 and a half centimeters either way so that will give our 39 by 39 aperture then we draw a square we cut that out and it should drop straight in so from there I'm going to speed this bit up so you don't get bored So there's the hole, 39 by 39. All I need now to do is, I'm gonna tape off around the edges. Right, so what I need to do now is put a pilot hole over this side and then put a pilot hole over this side and then join the dots. To drill this, I'm using a step-up drill bit. So there's your two pilot holes. I'm literally going to cut up through there, cut through there, cut down there, and cut along there. That would drop out and fall onto the dust sheet inside. Any filing, metal filings that goes down into the van will also drop onto the sheet. tip for you get some tape tape it round the underside of the flat spin the tape round and then tape it to there so that side is now held up A lot of people will try and take that from the inside. I never bother. That's the fastest way I'll get to hold that side up 
to stop it dropping and snagging the jigsaw blade. And there you go. So let me tidy these edges up at the corners. So remembering hinges face forward fits in there perfect and a little bit of wiggle room which is why they make it 39 right so now I can take that out we can pull the tape off So the mastic sealing strip we're going to be using is this stuff. Um, it's available on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below for it. Great stuff. Used it on all the vans I've done. And touch wood. I touch the head for now. I've never had any problems with it. So will I recommend this stuff? Definitely. Plastic tape on. Before we put the vent in, obviously we've got bare metal showing around these edges. So a good practice is to put a touch of paint on. I use a little a tin, a small tin of white hammerite paint, and I just touch up around those edges. So now that's been painted, we can drop the vent back in there. And what I'll do, I'll pop a pilot hole in each corner first. These are the screws we're going to be using. They're self tapping and self drilling screws.
Right, so there you go. I've trimmed up the mastic around the edges. Now, to make sure that's totally sealed, I'm going to put a bead of Sikaflex around that edge. So there you go. do now is pull this sheet down obviously we've got to do all the stuff inside for the fan but I wanted, what I wanted to do was as I unclip this I want to show you just how much or how many metal filings and bits of swarf there are in the actual van itself so if I can do this one handed so there you go if you look a line of it all there loads of it Right, so I need to take this sheet down now and get it out without dropping any of the filings in the van. And the reason, main reason I wanted to put that up as well, I mean, obviously I do it with all my vans um, to protect the inside of the van, but the, the biggest thing for me with this van is there's young ones in here. And the last thing I want to do is hand this van back and the little one hurt themselves on something that I've done. I've never forgive myself. There you go, so that's what it looks like from the inside. We're far away from finishing this fan, although we can't do it today because we need to put up some roof battens, a bit of insulation and the cladding. Okay, so we're gonna be finishing off the fan and I've got to cut a bit of this um, cladding out so we can fit the fan covering, wire it all up. Fit, shall we? Right, so the knob on this is not big enough, but luckily we have some spares. So when you buy these fans, they do have a spares kit that you can buy and or extensions, depending on how deep the roof is. Because at the moment, we can't open the actual vent on it. And I've bought loads of spares, and obviously once I change things out, I put them back in the pot. So I have one, two different size to exchange out with. So the standard, the standard knob looks like that. And I have two other sizes. I always keep these in stock because it's so handy. So what you do is, right, so as you can see on there, it's a little rubber type grommet. So you literally It's almost like an elastic band. And obviously that screwdriver is not small enough. Yes it is. So there you go. Oh, I've lost it again. I nearly had that. 
Right, there you go. That's the original one. And that's the new one we're gonna try. So what I'm gonna do is, before I actually put it in and put the O-ring on, the rubber O-ring, I'm gonna put the fan up and just test fit. And that is still not long enough. So I need to use the bigger one. Okay. There you go. So that one fits. So it was the longer one of the two, and all we do is pop the O-ring back over the top. And that's the new knob in place. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to strip the wires down and wire this up. It was at this stage of the build, when I started to wire up the fan, I started to have difficulties. Now, as you can see in the picture, there are four gray buttons. Now, to secure the wires in each other position, you have to push each one of these buttons down. Um, I'll indicate each one as we go. You have the plus and the minus buttons, which are these two. Then you have the M1 and M2 buttons which are these two. Now, I don't have the smallest of fingers, and these are not the biggest of buttons. So all I can say is this proved very challenging when it came to wiring it up. I finally did it, finally got it in, and finally got it working. But as you see, I was having many issues along the way. It's getting late and finally we've managed to get the fan done and it's don't know if you can hear that but it's working it's lit up and then you put it on the other way so as a result so today's we you know it's been busy here it's been really busy but very productive with it that's my lot, I'll pack my tools away and I'm gonna go home. Right, okay, so that is the roof vent install for the transit. Um, it was a very, very, very challenging install as far as putting the fan on the inside and wiring it up. I hope I explained it well enough in the video with the little gray um, connectors. Um, it's unlike sort of ones you would screw into place, you have to push the button and push the wire in. Oh, and because I've got sausage fingers, so they're tiny, tiny buttons. So 
at the end of the day, my fingers were really sore and it was, it, it was challenging to say the least. But I did it. I got there in the end. It's the end of today's video and I hope you liked what you see. Please let me know either way and I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well and more so staying happy as ever. Bye for now.